Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to make a killer MagnaPan stand, okay? Instead of spending all that dough and buying these things that are six and 700 bucks um, to make a MagnaPan stiff, I'll show you how to do it, okay? So what we're going to do is, and I'll show you the parts later. These are all prefabricated parts. You're not going to have to fabricate a thing. You're not going to have to cut a thing. All you're going to do is tinker toy the thing together with tools, okay? It's just wrenches, that's all. Um, so... It goes like this. These are strut, oh, and I'll get you all the parts. That you get these from McMaster Car. Okay, it's, a, it's an industrial supply house. And basically, they're struts, so they're straight struts. And then there, there's an angled strut here, a support. And everything else is just straight strut that's, uh, that's um, bolted together. There are some pieces, well, I'll show you exactly. There's one angle right here, a 90 degree small angle. Um, and then these are supports that go across. These are all pre-cut. You find them in their size, and bam. Um, yeah, I don't think I cut those cross members, did I? Um, mm, I may have cut these, but I definitely didn't cut any of those. Um, and all you do is, if you got a chop saw, you know, like a you know one that comes down like that, you put a uh, you put a blade on there that's like a um, what is it? It's it's a steel cutting blade or it's a masonry blade. I think it's steel cutter. It's a steel cutting blade, and you can just cut through steel. It's pretty cool. Anyways. Um, so here the things are. Here's how I did it. Okay, so basically you're looking at what's an L shape. Let me come around over here. Okay, you're looking at what is an L shape. Let me, these are in perfect position, so I'm not going to move them right now. Okay, so you've got a strut that goes across across the bottom. You've got one that comes straight up. So that's it. You've got an L. You've got a straight L, right? And then you reinforce that L with the angle iron right down here. Okay, this piece here. And then you reinforce it with this 45 that goes down to the back of the skid, I call it. I call these things skids. These are the, the bottom uh, strut. And um, and you just, you, you what you make yourself is a rigid L. That's what it is. And um, what I did here, because I made my own baffle, okay, so this is um, three quarter inch ply that I cut out, that I put right on top of the Maggie baffle, and then I bolted together. These holes are already in the Maggie baffle. I just continued them through this way, and then put a carriage in there and uh, push it through, put a bolt and a nut on back. You know, um, where are we right? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's covered. I forgot. I put a cover on it. It's inside the channel there. And then you get this little plastic cover that covers the channel. See, so the channel's like that. You can pull this puppy out. I can pull this like that. Okay, so this thing comes out. And then right in there is where you have... Your 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 um your nuts and your washer and stuff and that that's what holds it together right so you run that through you run that bolt all the way through here over to here and then you put it through right and you cr crank it down and this thing's reflecting and I better not be nude here in my ninety degree house um, um and get it reflected man you guys get more than you bargained for I'm telling you you'd probably vomit okay so here uh. And then, and then, okay, so we got that. You understand this, right? So you just now, now on a magna pan, there's going to be wood styles that are out front, okay? So in order to do it the way I'm doing it, you're going to have to drill through those puppies if it's a 3.6, and you're going to have to have carriage head bolts, uh, the heads showing through your Maggie styles. That's the only way this is going to work. Um, the way I do it, because you have to sandwich the two and, and pull them together, and you'll need that. Um, I can't think of any other way to do it easily. You're just going to have some of those heads, but they don't look that bad because there's no, it's not a bolt head. It's just a carriage head. So it's going to be this round thing like that. You can do them in antique brass. You can do them in nickel. You can do them in chrome. You do them in whatever color you really want. They probably have them in black oxide too. Um, so, um, and that's, that's just what you'll see. You'll see them in those, there's, there's spots. They, they have them right. There's two there. There's two there. There's two there. And there's two there. And then one, 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 one. And that will be, that's the exact MagnaPan layout. So that, that is what, that, that's where they would be. Let's see if I can see, see it better over here. Now let's see if I turn this, turn the lights up. Uh, okay. So, see they're not even, they don't even stick out that, 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 that much. I mean, and I put this polished on the side so it matches everything. It looks pretty killer. Um, but, um. So you can do them in, but and that's how this would work, okay? It's going to be extremely sturdy. The only way to get a good clamp on the Maggie, you don't want to screw into the wood and then have that be an anchor. Man, for an anchor, you need the thing that you need to squeeze it and sandwich it, you know, and just grab it and get it tightened to this thing. 
And then it's like, you know, you push it and this is loose right now. Like I don't even have it tightened up, but, um, and then you go across the two for support. I go across and across. It gives it support so the legs don't V out or whatever. They stay the way they're supposed to. And then we've got this popping out the front. And then you get this, you get the plastic, like I was talking about, the chan to cover the, the, the channel. And then you put these plastic rubber things on the end to cover the end caps. So it's complete. And it really doesn't look that bad. And you set the Maggie right on it. Basically, you set the Maggie on it. It sits its, its butt down on there. And then, uh, and then you clamp it. You squeeze it um, to the baffle. And then, kabam. You're going to have some rigidity just like that. Um, and that's the way she does. This is a four foot long piece. Those are two or three foot. Those are, let's see, those are uh -huh, two or three. You can do it. You can, you can vary these, but essentially um, I'll, I'll go and I'll sketch it out. I'll do it so you can see while I sketch it. Um, so hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. So welcome to Mikey's super crude and rudimentary, uh, sketching house. Um, I'm going to show you the design here. Uh, the basics. This is just basically how it's done. It's super easy. There's one upright, okay? This is the one strut that goes behind the Maggie, and then you bolt it in with a bolt, right? A carriage, actually, that's going to be like that, have a carriage head, and it's going to go through that front, the, the style, the wood style, and then pop out the back, and then you're going to have a nut here and a washer, and you're going you're gonna to tighten that together to this vertical strut. Okay, that vertical strut terminates in a horizontal strut that is the skid, I call it, on the bottom. And this thing is like, like that, okay? And then, um, and this is the basic premise of the thing. You put the Maggie in front of this strut, okay? So it's behind and you don't see it. All you see is this little part. And you're gonna, you're gonna okay, here's the Maggie is gonna go right, like say like that, okay? Um, or whatever. It's gonna be sandwiched in, it's gonna, it's gonna be held, wait. I just did that wrong. <laughs> the Maggie's gonna be over here in front of the damn thing, like I said, um, like that. And then you're gonna put the carriage head through there, through the strut leg, squeeze it down. You're gonna do another one there. There's I think another one up top. Um, and then you will get a 45. There's a piece that looks like this. It has a flat and then it goes at a 45 and then it has another flat. And then you just, and you bolt those right in. Okay, and um, and they will bolt right into the skid and right into the upright. Okay, and then there's an angle iron piece that you put right down here. That that's the, um, the 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 strength. I guess you give it right there support right here, but the real erg strength. Okay, and then you're gonna have and the this one will this one goes um, in 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 a, in a short way. In other words, this will be a bolt that just holds the strut up. This this bolt and the bolt here. There's two of them actually. Two of them there and two of them here. Um, and they hold this little angle in place, but they don't go all the way through the Maggie or they don't go all the way through even through the channel of this strut channel. Um, so you get this angle iron for reinforcement. You get this one for support. You got an upright and you've got a skid and that's the design. And then you go across the two skids with some braces like that, two of them. And then that keeps the skids from wiggling and getting weird. So you brace the two skids across and then you bring some bolts down into the channel that way, you know, straight down. Um, and so you got two supports like that. And then um, on the ends, you put these little rubber cap pieces that go on the ends. They're just little rubber caps. You can put that on the um, all your cut edges, like here. There's a support that goes straight across. I've got a support there too. So there's two supports here. And then there's one support straight across this way. And... Um, and then uh, you uh, you put the like on your cut edges. You're gonna put that rubber thing so that right when you look at the sideways, you get a little. You, you see, don't see any cut edges. And then on the top of that one, you put you put a cap. And then on the front and back, you put a cap. And then you've got a killer sturdy um, Maggie stand. And I will go ahead and I will um, I'll put the list together from McMaster. And, and put together the parts and yours will be similar you can vary them you can vary the length of the skid depending you can vary the height and then how high or short you want this upright but there's two sides of, of 45 degree angles and there's a smaller one and then there's this bigger one i wanted the bigger one because the maggie's pretty tall so i went up to the certain bolt because this thing bolts on. wait no this doesn't bolt on okay this one bolts into the channel too it doesn't go straight through the maggie um <laughs> You'll get it, man. I mean, I'm trying to trying to do this all now at once, but it's simple. It's like a tinker toy, you know. And if you, I can, I can, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how it works. Um, if you're halfway at all mechanical, you'll totally get it. 
They're giant tinker toys. Um, and this is it. This is the quick Mikey um, from McMaster Car using parts that are already there. They're already powder coated. So they're, you can have them in black, in white, in just raw aluminum. Um, you And I think they probably make some other funky colors like yellow and like uh, some other crap. But um, um, I'll show you where that is. The company is called McMaster Car. McMaster.com. Just go to McMaster.com. And then I'll have to find the names for these things. Hold on, because I'll do it right now. Hold on. Okay, so the, the, the name for this on the, in the McMaster Car catalog is called Low Profile Strut Channel. I don't write very much, so you can tell. Low Profile Strut Channel, okay? Low Profile Strut Channel. Um, and in there, you're going to find the slotted hole. Slotted hole type. Those are the ones that are pre-drilled. And you can get them in green, zinc plated, black powder coated, green powder coated, white powder coated, yellow powder coated, galvanized steel, 304 stainless, 316 stainless, aluminum, or primed steel for painting your own color. They're all different prices. It looks like green powder coated steel is the least expensive because it's the ugliest. So that's got to, and let's see, aluminum is, aluminum is, is inexpensive too. Everything, so the most, the inexpensive ones are the powder coated steel and the, um, the powder coated steel, zinc plated steel. Yeah, you can look when you get on there. The, the stainless and stuff is expensive. But once you find this, um, you'll find these, and there is, you'll find all the different sizes, okay? So it's the channel is, um, they've got them in, in one foot, two foot, one foot, one and a half foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, six foot, you know, in lengths. And so you'll buy, like, what I have here is I have, on each Maggie, it's two times four foot, um, and uh, let's see, and you'll see it, and then it'll have a part number for I used white powder coated steel, which is 3310T, 3310T, 3310T777, no, uh, white, 488, 488. So that's the, this is what I use for white. Now black will be a different number, you know, and all that, whatever color you, you want to choose. So I used two of the four foots. Those are the uprights. I used, I just thought I'd do this real quick to kind of give you guys an idea of how to make an easy to build um, giant tinker toy uh, frame for the Maggie that gives it some, some stiffness. Obviously for the DIYer, um, it's not a complete package that's put together that you can do. You have to have some ingenuity. You have to have some mechanical ability. It's not heavy. So it doesn't mean you don't have to lift, lift anything heavy, except for that Maggie, man. When you get the Maggie, you need to lay this thing flat, and then you put these two on, okay, w with your bolts, and then you then you lift it up. You're gonna have to have somebody else help you. If you're not, if you don't have someone else, leave it down, and then put the skids on the bottom. Lift it up with your knee or something. Put the skids on the bottom. Then you could do, you could kind of do this uh, alone if you wanna, but have the Maggie facing flat towards the ground. You have to do it that way. Um, but other than that, there is the quick and dirty how to make a MagnaPan frame really rigid, made out of steel. It'll be heavy. You won't need to put sandbags on the back. Um, it'll be, um, and it'll be really heavy and stiff and hold your MagnaPan way better than what you have if it's stock. And then it's, it's comparable with um, the, like the MYE stands, except those things, if I'm not mistaken, they grab the MagnaPan. So you see these pieces of metal on the front style. You're not going to see that. Instead, you're going to see these just carriage head bolts, the the heads. If you know, so you know, choose your choose your poison. You know, um, and um, and this is a this is a great little design. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, and I'll see you.